Hey guys and welcome to your 22nd tutorial in discrete math 2 and now we're going to talk about partition of integers and the concept is very simple and it's one of the easiest uh, things in discrete math so um, let's say you have a number 6 so here we have n is equal to 6 how many how many partitions are there and partitions are just sum a group of numbers when you sum them up you get 6 so we have um, six ones. When you add them, you get six. Um, four ones and two, you get six. Two ones and two twos, you get six. That'll be three twos, you get six. Um, one two three, that'll be six. One 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 and three, that's six. Two threes, a four and two ones, a four and a two, five and a one and a six. So, how many ways are there? That's a total of 11 ways. So, you have 11 ways of partitioning the number 6. So, if you have like a number like 100, how many partitions are there? And it's going to take you days, maybe a week to figure that out. So, there's a much quicker way of doing this. So, that will be using generating functions. And the way we do this is, for n is equal to 6, so we have n is equal to 6. Well, we can have 6 ones. So for, for the ones, you can have a none or 1 1 or 2 ones or 3 ones or 4 ones or 5 ones or 6 ones. So this calculates up to 6 ones in total. There'll be times. Now you have you're gonna take how many twos you can have. Well, you can have no twos, or one two, or two twos, or three twos, and that will give you the total number of twos you can have. And then you can have um one zero threes, or one three, or two threes. And remember, since we're doing x to the power of 6, um, we're just stopping whenever we, we reach 6 or we go beyond. Because we don't want to go on forever. Even though you can you can have this, um, this um, expression here going on forever, so plus x7, plus x8, it wouldn't make a difference as long as um, you pick the correct um, coefficient of x. So that will be multiplied by 1 plus, you can only have 1 4 or no 4s, multiplied by no 5s or 1 5, and multiplied by no 6s or 1 6. Alright, so this is the expression of um, finding how many partitions there are for the number 6. And if we go to Wolfram Alpha, here expand the term 1 plus 1 plus x plus x squared, plus x cubed, plus x to the fourth, plus x to the fifth, plus x to the sixth. So that's the ones, how many number of ways you can calculate one. That will be multiplied by one plus x squared, plus x to the fourth, plus x to the sixth. Multiplied by one plus x to the x cubed, plus x to the sixth. Multiplied by one plus x to the fourth. And multiplied by one plus x to the fifth. Multiplied by one plus x to the sixth. And if you expand this, alright, so if you look at the coefficient of x to the 6 right here, so right over there, you're getting 11. 11 is the number of partitions that we have. If we have want the, the number of, of partitions for the number 4, you just look at the coefficient for x to the 4th, and that's 5. And if we go to Wolfram Alpha here, uh, sorry, Wikipedia, and you go down the table, the number of partitions for 6 is 11, the number of partitions for 4 is 5. So all these numbers up to 6 will be the same in here. If you want to go beyond 6, then you have to add um, these numbers here. So you have to have plus x to the, uh, plus x, uh, to the power of 7. And so this is to calculate the number of 6s. If you want 7, then you're going to have to add 
um, plus x to the 7 here and times 1 plus x to the 7 and that will give you how many ways um, how many partitions there are alright so find all the uh, partitions with distinct commands so we don't want to repeat anything so if you have a 1 you can have another one so all we're gonna do is 1 plus x and then 1 plus x squared because remember you can either have it 0 times or one time and the power that just tells you um, what number it is so this counts the number of ones so here's the number of ones of ones this is the number of twos twos and then one plus x cubed one plus x to the fourth one plus x to the five and one plus x to the sixth and let's see what we get when we expand this term. So expand 1 plus x, 1 plus x squared, 1 plus x cubed, 1 plus x to the fourth, 1 plus x to the fifth, and 1 plus x to the power of 6. Alright, and now we look at the coefficient of x to the power of 6, and that will give us 4. Alright, so that's what Wolfram Alpha gave us, so this, so the coefficient of x to the 6th is equal to 4. And if we go up, alright, let's count how many ways, or how many partitions we can find that have um, distinct commands. So here you have multiple ones, you have multiple ones, multiple ones, all twos. Here you have that's one, one case right here. And then you have four and two, that's another case. Five and one, and six. And these are the three ca four cases where you have distinct commands. Alright, and usually you want to represent this as P. So p is just the name of the function, and then a small d for distinct. So p d of x is equal to 4. If you're looking for only odd commands, then it's going to be p o of x. If it's even, then p e of x, and so on. Alright, so in the next tutorial, I'm going to have an example um, about partition of integers. Um, I hope this video made some sense. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. See you then.